Hi, my name is Trudy, and today we are going to be making stuffed dollars. Right now, I'm crumbling the ground beef um, with the spatula to make sure it doesn't break into chunks if you crumble it after. I'm going to get a serrated knife. Okay, so right now, I'm just cutting the bell peppers open on the top, so you're not going to have to cut them into small pieces, or else it wouldn't be stuffed. So after that, I'm going to cut around this little circle here and get all the seeds out. There we go. See, all the seeds. Now you can just tap it from the bottom to get the rest of the little danglers out. And just grab them if you need. And then that's it. Parsley. I dice some onion over here. Um, this is basil, a mixture of basil, oregano, um, and chili, um, chili, chili flakes, and then a few other um, seasonings and then celery and garlic and um, I used Havarti um, instead of Monterey or Jack or something. You can use any other cheese that you have around the house. So we have our bell peppers um, and then we have tomato. In about five minutes and the meat is nice and cooked through. So I'm gonna add the onions and the garlic now and the celery and most of the other things. So. Now, I used uh, um, about half of a large onion, or um, about a medium-sized onion, so just one will do. You don't need to add anything really extravagant, just some extra seasonings that we talked about earlier. Sec. I'm going to add those in a second. Now I'm going to add the celery. Okay, I'm going to mix all this in. Make sure your heat isn't too high so that you don't burn the meat, and but you do want it around medium low or medium high so that you can cook the vegetables too, but they will cook more if you think they're not thoroughly cooked, then you can cook them more in the oven. Add some um, corn, um, about a cup and a half, so about a can of corn. Yeah, about a can of corn, and that's going to add some more flavor when it's done. So after this, I'm going to add some tomatoes. Right now, I'm going to stir in a 14.5 ounce can of tomato, diced tomatoes with the juice. And then I'm going to add my red, uh, red pepper flakes and basil and oregano, all the seasonings I talked about earlier into this. I used fresh basil, but you can always use um, dried or store-bought. So fresh basil is just a healthier alternative. I'm going to add the um, two tablespoons of tomato paste to add a little bit more flavor. The diced tomatoes are good for texture as well, but they're not going to have as much flavor as paste. I'm adding saran wrap, saran wrap to the bell peppers and the water, the fourth cup of water, so that they can steam in the microwave for a few minutes so the bell peppers soften. some rice in the center and then I'm going to mix that in so that we can get it to absorb some of the juices. Now that I have my rice thoroughly mixed in, I'm going to add my parsley. Sandy, you, you know that. Ooh, this parsley adds a nice pop of color to it. I don't know if you can hear, but my dog is mad at me now. <laughs> okay. Well, that cooks in a little bit. I'm going to grab the bell peppers out of the microwave. Here's the finishing product before we put it in the oven. Alright, so it's going to be here for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to check on it 
at about 15 just in case. Oh, baby, oh god, is it good? Can I try some? Cameraman. Mmm. That, that is really good. That's delicious. Excellent. Can you say stuff bell peppers three times? One second. Stuff bell. Stuff bell. Stuff bell pepper. Stuffed bell pepper, stuffed bell pepper, stuffed bell pepper, <laughs> Yeah. Can you do it? Stuffed bell pepper, stuffed bell. <laughs> My body is stopping me physically it's from doing this. <laughs> do you want the food? Do you want the food? Aww. Sorry, I'm ready. <coughs> She smells the yumminess, that's why. Let me in!